Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of this Planet Craft 2 and today's episode we're playing Horizon episode 31 and we just entered this area and I guess we've got to be cool. well we don't Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Alright. No, we don't need to go all the way there. We need support too. There's something there. Oh, it looks like it was a beam. Not like this anymore. It's bigger. So their dawn was this. This is what we've tried to get this. What you care about a small if it, the room's smaller than the last one? There we go. Should have brought a cart. Should have. I doubt they'll be. Oh. A holographic theater. CD M1 data intact. Initiating playback. Oh, right, there we go. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global yep. extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I oh. want to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. All right. That. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. 
You said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. There... There's this. Can we interact with any of this? Nope. What's on top? It's always important to look on top. B. There's always seem to be a B. Never an A, never a C, never a D, never an E to dead. There's always only a B in these kind of games. Oh. What is this place? Two? I guess I can't get up there, can I? Yep, I can. Call the shadow card you. Fire striker. Wait, here he's talking about. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious, and it's not going to fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey, that multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since '57? That went nowhere real slow, and you have to get somewhere real fast. Do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship. Alright, okay. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. Or does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. 
how we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. I think it's real enough. That was amazing. Let's try. Destroy. But then. Remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Look at that, another bee. of a feral robot why does it want to kill me and apollo the archive of knowledge what happened to that i'm as confused as you are maybe the answers lie ahead let me guess on another glitch so these animals are meant to act well these robotic animals all right i don't like how they're giving me health But these are tr but they're giving me health and it's gotten loud. I'm sorry, it's gotten loud, but hey, okay, right, we'll get that then. Continue on. should be enough I don't um, play any of them I might spend a video like listening maybe like once I've like gotten every single one Do they only hold fire strikers? Pretty useless. Well, they're good and all, but I don't like them. Hello. Right, take it they all hold 45 in them. Got so much health potion as well. Go this way. Well, so hold up. If this was all like underground in that, shouldn't there be like old stuff? That would make more sense, wouldn't it? For there to be artifacts, not um. Right. Okay. Yeah, to give me artifacts, not right. They're all heels. Let's try. Let's keep trying to do that. So shouldn't there be artifacts more than all this? 
other stuff. Bunker door. Wait. See, another B. Was with. Or the B for bunker. So, left up, left down, left. No, left up, left down, right. Left up. So. Left up, left. Down Right I should check the door nearby. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. All right. Up, up, left, down, right, up, up, left, down, right. So, all right, okay. We oh, we need a power cell. Where could we get one of those? I don't know. Bunker door, right? Let's check the bunker door, and that will probably lead me to the power cell. What's with me? Yeah, there we go, that right, could open. Anything here? Nope, looks like there's a ladder to get up though. Then let's see. Oh, oh, wait, do we need this? Alright, this reminds me of the banister on up. The, you know, the film up. Install. Was that the only one? Yep. So, up left. Up, left, down. Right, sorry. Up, left, down, right. Uh, right. That's it. Alright, okay. Up, yep, left, yep, down, yep. Right, yep. And that should all be done. Up, left, down, right, up. Up, left, down, right, up. Oh, it's upside down, that's why. So, it should... Wait, is it upside down? Yeah, because it... Right, so it should be down. This way, so... That's a little confusing. Down. Then... So whatever side that is pointing to, it's not. Then up here. Then the other way here. And down. That should be it. Somewhere again. So it should be... Or if it's the right way, just so up, left, down, down, then up. wait, oh, up, left, down, yep, and then up here. All right, shouldn't be this hard, but guess it is, and that's it. Yep. Wait, no. Hold up. One of or is it the other way? So up, no, 
So that's a down. And whatever down is up. And what's up should be down. Whatever left is right and right is left. How did they not hear that? Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. Oh. Alright, you're going this way. What? Huh. Alright, I should plug. Alright. Oh, there's only what five? I bleed a lot, thank you. Help. Alright, looks like I did not know the meaning. Oh, anyway. well, this is it stuff. I don't. How many? Hold up. I'm not going to take. All right, nine hundred forty-five. Or sorry, or some crazy. Some kind of crazy amount of shards. 
not my highest, but definitely not my lowest. Let's go around this way. It's sixty. Now this thing is dangerous. Yeah. Right. Okay. I couldn't pick up the other one. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build, build, imagine from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at the snap of a finger. Hers. Perfect. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded in Bricks of creativity made real. Guy's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the VM prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save lives, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. Alright, this is the area. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like I talked more at the start because... Well, there's more to talk about. Anyone doesn't want to talk? Talk to my little spitty. I don't like how they're giving you a little bit more of health. I'm full health, so... Alright, I've got singular uses, which might be better. Instead of the full time. Full time, the uh, like one shot. Oh, I've got five. Yeah. We probably don't even need this. But this is just for precaution. Precaution. Say that weird. Welcome to Apollo. The collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Elbaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge created in Java. That's why I don't like health. I don't really care anymore. Oh, or be loud. Wait, my medicine pouch is filled. How could this be? What sorcery is this? Right, why do they always dodge?
All right, I pressed the wrong bit. Now a death trap, or a uh, place where lots will die, or are dead. Fast travel. Right, I really can't be bothered going slow. But it's a way of staying safe. Any more over here? We can just scan for hot bodies. Or is that? Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate. Why about life all over again? Like the only way onwards. So I, I know I never finished that, but Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome. Got too much already. Frozen in time. The genetic... That's, uh, I don't think if you go back, uh, they'll play again. Elizabeth said a new generation humans would respond inside such places. All oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something are these what I what I think they are? Artificial wombs. Machines to spawn a new generation of human beings. Well, I failed that horribly. But AI them? Well, no, because I grew up. But as you, as has been explained, they're making life, or she's making life. My How do you get in here? Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. I'm not gonna put a gun to our head while she's still in the cradle. She's one like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth. May I speak outside protocol? Of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not in the to ensure the preservation of life. A hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. <laughs> All right. Well, are we trying? Are we meant to be getting in this room? Yeah. 
Find right yeah, find an entrance. Well the entrance is here. There are way up or a little crack. Pretty open the door. That's it. Now don't step too far in rooms or they suck you into a They suck you into talking. Mm. Alright. Oh, this is outside, we can't look, but we don't need. Looks like we copied it. Oh, what's that? Is that a bomb? Oh, we never got it. Did we not? Co we copied it. Uh oh. Oh, that's he. Haley's. Oh. Oh. Here we are, back at the start. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. Trophy discover, trophy discovered the truth trophy. Oh. Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? Uh, you two are boring me. I don't want uh, to uh, annoy him since he could kill me. If you're gonna go on babbling like this all night, could you just kill you now? Oh no. We're in no hurry, you and I. Not now. Maybe some physical torture to distract me from your voice? At that moment, on the mountain, I aimed to kill you with dispatch, and yet did not. Why? This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed this etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. No. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained.
Alright, so I'm going to give a pause there. I'm going to call it an episode. And what I think is the guy who keeps watching me through the focus, since he's unaware that you could tap into the focus seat, I'm pretty sure, because it's quite hard, uh, he said, but really you did need to kill the power. <laughs> well, not really kill it, you've just to hack it then. If you want it off, kill the power. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it there. That's my theory. The guy who I keep, who keeps talking to me for the focus is going to come and kill him. Then he's not, uh, he might not be who he said he is, but I would enjoy, uh, I would enjoy to see that. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe. Planet Craft 2. Over and out. Good. Bye.